Hey, this is Shane Spin, where we talk about some of the videos that are going viral and who's at fault in the accident, okay? Now look at this case right here. We've got two women. They appear to be arguing at a gas station. Here's a, a young man who appears to be talking to the one woman inside of the truck, uh, trying to calm her down. And then bam, this is madness right here, okay? So let's pause the video right here and let's talk to the client or look at what happens. So first, in North Carolina, there's what's called contributory negligence, where if they blame you and they feel that you were partially at fault for the accident, there's no recovery, okay? Now, an argument could be made that the woman on the left-hand side who's yelling, maybe she contributed to it. I don't think it's gonna win, okay? I think it's a bogus argument. I think it's just a, you know, something, a straw man kind of argument that's not gonna make any sense uh, because she never had any contact with any of the vehicles, okay? Now, then we flip over to the woman in the vehicle. Is she responsible for the, these injuries, okay? She drives in the other person's car. I think she's totally gonna be responsible there. Now, what about the man who was talking to her though, okay? Because when you saw the video, he was drugged along. Somehow it looked like he was trying to get in that truck or talk to her. Now, we don't know about that relationship. If they had some kind of regular relationship where it wasn't like a fight or anything like that, then I think he's probably, gonna be okay and have a claim against her because it didn't look like he was doing anything wrong. However, if he's just a random person and doesn't know them and had some kind of altercation with her and the woman in the vehicle can make a claim that yeah, she was frightened by him or he was antagonizing her or making the situation that I think he's gonna lose on a contrib argument. They're gonna say it was his fault for getting involved in that. It was his fault for reaching inside of her vehicle, which I'd have to side with her on that one, okay? Now, depending on that situation, that's gonna determine what happens next. So you can see this is the after effects of hitting that pump and that Thing. She went across the intersection, hit, flipped over, okay? Obviously terrible. Obviously the two vehicles right here, there was some contact, they're gonna have some issues. Thank goodness the woman is okay right now. I don't know what she's coming to do, but she's clearly looking to blame somebody for this, okay? That vehicle is destroyed, so it's gonna come down to is the man responsible or is she responsible, okay? Now, to me, it looks like she was reckless and just hit their gas tank and went off crazy into traffic, but I don't know the situation between her and that man. That's what a lot's gonna come down to is what that testimony is. That's Shane Spin on this particular video. In pain, so I call Shane. 980-999-9999. In pain, call Shane.